this menu animation is so slick and so beautiful and you ask a tutorial how to do it so why not let's do it this tutorial will contain three parts the first the first part we will animate this uh, we create this hover animation the second part will be to build this menu excluding these specific menu components but we will build this uh, design and the last part will add the logic to actually animate the entrance and the exit animation so let's do it part one let's build the button hovering hover animation all right so um if we'll see the live example so what's happened here so basically we have the default shape and as we hover it it's scaled down and there is another shape only with with stroke that expanded all right so it's pretty easy we'll do it very quickly so let's go and add a container why we need a container because it will uh, uh, contain all the hover animation elements um, so I'll set it to uh, let's say just for now a hundred pixels width and a hundred pixels height and I'll give it some background color so we'll see it and then I quickly uh, drag a shape into my canvas and change its uh, shape to be a circle I'll give it the orange color and I'll give it a name also this will be the default shape all right um, I'll clone it very quickly by clicking by clicking command D and here I'll remove the background color and add a border of one pixels with the same orange color this will be the hover shape all right so let's drag the hover shape into our container and I want it to be um, uh, stretched to its parent so let's dock it to top left sorry top left with zero margins and I want to stretch it by clicking uh, let's remove the scale we don't need it and I want to stretch it so I'll stretch to the right and I stretch to the bottom I always check that I don't have here a minimum height in pixels and remove the margin from all sides why I'm doing it because if later I want to make my uh, all the element bigger I can select only the menu the open menu wrapper and if I scale it everything will scale up and down with me all right so I'll do the same for the default shape it should be on top of the hover so let's dock it to top left with zero margin remove the scale size pro uh, um, proportionally and dock it from all sides by clicking shift all right great so now what as we hover on this container what do we want to do we want to scale down the default shape and scale up the hover shape so let's go to animation and effects and create a new hover animation let's go to custom create custom animation so now I'll choose the default shape and as I hover I want to scale it down by 20% so it looks something like this but I also want the hover shape to scale up to 100% which is this is exactly what we see right now but we need to change the initial state to not be our 100% but to be a 1% like very very tiny dot all right let's change the name very quickly to hover and let's preview it 
So as we hover over the wrapper, so we can see this animation, which is exactly what we need. All right. The second thing that I'm going to do, I'm going to add um, uh, a hamburger menu inside this container. Why? Because we need to be able to click on this uh, on this shape and to open the hamburger menu because all our design is going to be on the hamburger menu. Although usually um, uh, you use it only on on uh, tablet and mobile, but but here we will use it in desktop also. So let's set its width um, to a hundred percent and its height to a hundred percent. And I don't want to see this icon, so I'll make the fill color transparent. So now I'll select. Um, the wrapper, remove the background color and make its corner to be circle. Great. So uh, we have a we we have a container that contains three shapes. First is the hover shape. Second one is the default shape. This is what we, we, we are seeing right now. And the hamburger menu, which allow us to click here and to open the hamburger menu. All right. So another thing that I'm going to do, I'm going to uh, create the menu, all right, this menu. So let's create a container. Uh, this is something that I always do. Uh, I like to work that way. Uh, if this is the header, I don't place element directly inside the header. I'm always put everything inside a container it's allow me to take all the content outside to make a change to duplicate it uh, but if I put it right inside the header I cannot do it so it will be a hundred percent let's drag our um, menu open button in, into this container and instead of a hundred a hundred pixels it will be a 56 pixels width, 50 uh, pixels wide. And I just need to make sure that everything is aligned and I can see that the hamburger menu is being bigger. So let's make it back to be 100%. And now I'll need uh, the logo. But instead of uh, redoing it, I'll just copy it from the example I already created and put it right here. So basically, this is a shape, um, an SVG, and I already have the width and the height is scaling. Uh, it's based on the uh, viewport width, and it looks something like this. Uh, you can place any logo you like, but now we need to do some padding, uh, so element won't be... Um, uh, too close to the edge so 80 pixels from left 56 pixels from top and 80 pixels from right these units are important if we want as we open as we open the menu to everything looks like identical when the op when the menu is open uh, but it's a design choice so now I need to get rid of the extra height that I have. So there is two methods. You can do something like this, but I like to very to be very precise of the sizing that I'm using. So I'll apply grid to it and remove the row minimum height. I'll do it FR. And I'll drag this container into our header and align it top to left and remove the background color. All right, so let's publish it and see if actually when we are clicking, it's open the menu. So this is part one. This is the what we are working on. And I still see the background color. Why is that? All 
All right, now it's gone. And we have the hover and we can see that the cursor that this is interactive element. So if I click on it, it's open the hamburger menu. This is exactly what we wanted to do. All right, so this was part one. Next, part two, building the menu.